February 14th was like, um, obviously it was many things. It was Valentine's Day, my best friend's birthday, and it was the day that 17 people lost their lives at my high school. Um, and it's crazy because it happened the last period, class period of the day, and right before that class, me and my friend looked at each other and we said, we were like, this is just an off day, like it just felt weird. Like, And then it's crazy to think that an hour and a half later, that happened. So I remember it was um, 10 minutes before, or 20 minutes before the class was ending, I went to the restroom, and as I'm walking to the bathroom on the second floor, um, the fire alarm goes off. And like I didn't really understand what was going on until after because we had a fire alarm drill um, like three hours before that day. And all of a sudden I see people kind of rushing out of their class. So I go, in my, I go into my room, classroom, grab my bag, and I go outside with everyone. And I lose all my friends. I mean, I'm, before I knew it, I was just kind of walking alone. I see tons of people though around me. I just know to my close friends. Um, and my building was the farthest building away from where the shooter was. So I was, eva I was forced to evacuate all the way, um, like along the highway and along the canal to behind the middle school, West Glades Middle School, next to the Douglas. And after maybe a minute, um, people behind me started screaming, there's a shooter, run for your life. And for me, the only thing I can think of was my little sister because I had just turned 18, but I had a 14-year-old sister who was just starting her high school experience. And that's the only thing I could think about. So as soon as I realized what was going on, um, the first time I did realize was when in one of my group chats with a couple of my friends, my friend writes, I just watched someone die in my class. And I still couldn't believe it, but I knew that I had to do something. So the first thing I do is text um, a neighbor who is in my sister's grade, and I said, where is Eden, my sister? And she said, I think in the freshman building. But at that time, I didn't know that's where the shooter was. So I called my mom right away, and I asked her, um, I asked her if, she, if Eden had contacted her, because my sister was not answering any of my texts. And I refused to leave the grass area of the middle school or high school to evacuate to Walmart until I knew that my sister was safe. Um, I was not allowed to obviously go back, but I knew that my conscience would not allow me to keep running until I knew she was safe. So finally, my mom calls me and said, parents of children in, her, in Eden's class just said that she's okay. So I told my mom, forget about me. I'm fine, I'm safe. Take care of my sister. So, um, hundreds of kids behind me were jumping the fence, almost running in the canal to get to Walmart. And I was stuck in a tiny area with hundreds of kids. I ran, it was fine. And um, it's just traumatizing to know that not just me, but all these older siblings or younger knew that they had best friends, sisters, brothers, boyfriends, girlfriends, just in a classroom. And they didn't even know if they were ever gonna see them again. So. Um, I mean, I can't even, I was there and I wasn't even in the rooms and I still am traumatized to even walk into my house alone at night. I mean, this has happened so many times, so there's no true words that can convince every person on this planet to understand, but I guess the only thing is, even though this might not make you capture the full story, but imagine, imagine what so many have been through, losing the most important person in your life or a sibling. Just imagine having to live with that and how it must feel to be a parent and to know that you're never going to see your child again just because our government can't, can't ban assault rifles, which shouldn't even be something that an 18-year-old, let alone anyone, should be able to buy. I just, if we're not allowed to drink alcohol, we're not allowed to get a lottery ticket at 18, but you can buy a rifle is unreal to me. So I guess for everyone to know that we need to make something change or else this is gonna keep happening, which it has been for years. Honestly, it made me kind of appreciate my life and the people around it, but it also, it's gonna, I mean, it changed me forever. It's gonna be something that every day I'm gonna wake up and think about my classmates, my close friends from middle school that aren't allowed to have the experiences that I guess I have now. So like, part of me feels guilty, part of me feels thankful, part of me feels 
like it's still unreal that that I'm gonna have to keep living and I know that my neighbors, that people in my community don't have a life anymore because of one kid, because of a gun. I mean, I'm always gonna have to live with that. I think it's sad that it's that it's only until now that something that people are trying to change it so much, but I think it's amazing that we our whole community and nation has been able to come together and make I mean, I don't think my school will stop until something is changed, just from the look of it, just from how much everyone, of course, has been putting into it, because this should never happen again.